Welcome once again to the Google Sheets training course by CloudBot. This is the first module, Sheets Basics. In this module, we will introduce you to the Sheets interface and some basic features available in Sheets. Most of the material you'll be covering in later modules will be introduced here. Get ready for a fun learning experience. This module is made up of five lessons. We will start off by introducing Sheets and giving some background to this great tool. We will continue with data entry procedures in Sheets followed by data formatting techniques. Next, we'll look at working with cells and ranges, that is to say, columns and rows. We'll finish the module with managing worksheets, where we'll look at organizing multiple sheets in our workbook. Let's dive straight into our first lesson. Sheets is a cloud-based spreadsheet application offered by Google as part of their productivity suite. It allows you to organize, edit, and analyze different types of data using spreadsheets. It works similarly to other spreadsheet apps, except it is a web app. You can use Sheets for anything from planning a simple budget to creating an interactive dashboard and anything in between. As long as you are working with data, Sheets will be of use to you. In this module, you will be introduced to the Sheets interface and the various functionalities available. Later modules in this training will provide more in-depth guidance on how to make the most of this great tool. As mentioned, Sheets is cloud-based. However, you can work on spreadsheets offline. When you work offline, changes are saved to your local computer and updated as soon as you get online. To access Sheets, you can simply open your Chrome browser or any other browser for that matter and enter the following in the address bar, docs.google.com forward slash spreadsheets or simply sheets.google.com. You can also access it from within any of the Google Apps by clicking the Google Apps icon and selecting Sheets from the list. Note that although you can access Sheets using any browser at all, Chrome is optimized for use with the Google Apps. And so to get the best experience with Sheets, use Chrome. You can create a new file from blank or from a template. Sheets provides a number of templates for common use cases, such as expense reporting, project management, travel planning, and a lot more. The templates gallery is a good place to start if you are looking for some ideas, inspiration, or simply looking to quickly build your spreadsheets. To create a new spreadsheet, navigate to the Sheets homepage. We will start with creating a new spreadsheet from blank. So go ahead and click on blank, which is the plus sign. A new spreadsheet will open with the default name, Untitled Spreadsheet. Hover your mouse pointer over Untitled Spreadsheet. It will change to a cursor. When it does, click to start editing the name. Press enter or click anywhere outside the name box to commit. And you are ready to start entering your data now. We will now look at creating a spreadsheet from a template. On the Sheets homepage, click on Template Gallery. Browse through the options and select the one that best suits your needs. A spreadsheet with a template will open. It will have the name assigned to that template. Again, you can rename your sheet by clicking on the name. You can now edit the template to fit your data. Google Sheets has a very minimalistic interface. The interface is quite intuitive and easy to navigate. We'll take a guided tour of it all the same. The Google Sheets interface consists of the Google Sheets icon, which takes you to the Sheets homepage when clicked on. The spreadsheet title, which can be changed by just clicking on it. The document status, which lets you know the status of your document, that is, whether changes are currently being saved to the cloud, your PC, or both. The collaboration options, which gives options for checking the view history, if you are an editor, commenting on the spreadsheet rather than editing it directly, presenting the spreadsheet in a meeting, and sharing the sheets with others either as viewers, commenters, or co-editors. Your profile settings shown as your profile picture where you can sign out, add another account, and so on. The menu bar, which provides the various tools you will need for creating, editing, and managing your spreadsheets. These tools are grouped into menus according to their uses. Sheets presents a compact set of tools grouped into 10 menus. The shortcut toolbar, which provides quick access 
to the most commonly used tools to help you get things done quicker, the name box and formula bar, which allows you to enter or edit data, functions and formulas in a particular cell. The name box shows the cell name for the selected cell or range. The sheet area where you enter your data, this is organized into rows and columns. The intersection of a row and a column gives a cell. The currently selected cell is called the active cell and is denoted by a blue border. The sheets toolbar, which allows you to add and manage your sheets and also gives you insights on selected data, such as the sum, average, and so on, and allows for further AI analysis through the explore feature. You can select a cell by simply clicking on it or moving the cell pointer, that is the blue border that points to the active cell, using the arrow keys on your keyboard. The following table summarizes the shortcuts for moving around the sheet area. To move down one row, end or confirm cell changes, press enter. To move up one row, press shift plus enter. To move right one column, press tab. To move left one column, press shift plus tab. To move to column A in the current row, press home. To move to the first cell, that is A1, press control plus home. To move to the last cell with data in the worksheet, press control plus end. To move up one screen, press page up. To move down one screen, press page down. And to bring up the find dialog box, press either control plus G or control plus F.